on KDFX Fox 11 with Chris Long, Brooke Berry, and Patrick Evans. There's 50,000 bees per colony that semi holds 500 bee hives. More than 20 million bees, like winter visitors, spent an unexpected day in our valley today. Tonight, most of them are no longer here. We'll show you the work that went into coaxing these little buzzers to leave the valley behind. Good evening, everybody, on a Monday night. Glad you're with us. I'm Chris Long. And I'm Brooke Berry. All lanes are back open in Coachella tonight near Dillon Road, where two big rigs crashed. It caused a major backup on Interstate 10. One truck was carrying beehives, the other frozen chicken. The crash happened about 7 this morning, sending millions, that's right, as we said, millions, more than 20 million honeybees into the air. CBS Local News' Natalie Grinnell joins us from Coachella tonight. Now at 536, there yet bees all around you. I guess they're not bugging you too much now. Is that right, Natalie? That's right, Brooke and Chris. No more bee suit needed. A much different scene here than this morning. Traffic is flowing in both directions, and ever since the sunset, the bees are no longer swarming. <laughs> crash involving two semis shut down traffic on I-10 just east of Dillon Road for much of the morning. Oh. One of the trucks carrying frozen chicken tried to pass a slower semi carrying about 500 honey beehives. The driver clipped the back end of the bee truck releasing millions of bees before the chicken truck caught on fire. Honey, hey, what else could you say? Honey chicken. The driver of the chicken truck was sent to the hospital with minor injuries, while the driver and passenger of the bee truck remained on scene to begin clearing the mess. The bees swarmed near the hives, confused and agitated, creating a hazardous area near the scene. This isn't normal for them, so they don't know anything to do but be defensive and sting. When the sun went down, as typical with bees, they settled down and clustered back around the hives, which made it easy for the workers to load them back onto the truck and take them to their final destination. Any residual bees will cluster on nearby trees and bushes overnight until they're removed by Lance Davis in the morning and taken to local beehives. They were going to allow me to take any residual bees and I can capture them and put them in my beehives. The remainder of the bees are now back on their way to pollinate an almond farm near Bakersfield. And David's, Davis said because of their tendency to stay near those hives, he does not believe that there are many residual bees in nearby areas. Reporting in Coachella, Natalie Brunel, CBS Local 2 News. And Natalie, they are very important to our food supply. There have been a lot of reports out about losing bees and it could have a negative impact on our food supply. These are important little creatures, aren't they? Absolutely. Lance Davis was telling me that they are very essential to pollinating, even things like uh, citrus fruit, for example. He said that they make uh, oranges, tangerines, lemons sweeter and juicier, just having the bees there. All right. Thanks, Natalie. And good to know, too, with all of those people stuck outside their cars today waiting in that traffic that nobody was seriously stung. He may 